making sure Dragoon's tech game is on point and didn't even get the chance to in that sequence. Another back air here. Needles, bouncing fish, is that enough? Yes, oh. it is! I lied! <laughs> We're back! And it's gonna be K. Rule taking on uh, Emba starting out here. We saw just a taste of Emba in the beginning, uh, or in the end of the last match, and now Emba is back out to play. The reversal right there with the invincibility baiting Geo to do something, anything, but Geo holds the resolve, and that gives him another edge guarding situation, another chance to finish off this stock, but the up smash on shield with full rage. That will do it. All three are going towards. Going towards long, he's gonna be able to isolate one. There's one. Can you isolate the second? Now this has become a 1v1. Here's the opportunity that Glitch was looking for. Spike not being Bye. held. Oh my comedic. Obviously, that's heard. Has to get on the spike. There's the head. Wait. Quick dash here from Morgiana though to open out this round. One's gonna be king. Okay. Find one. Okay. Find two. Two full force buys or full buys away from taking it into OT. That doesn't particularly help, nor does that. It may very well be it, though. The fact that he took so long is going to be their Achilles heel, but they will be able to defuse behind that wall. I don't know if it's wall bangable. It doesn't matter. Glitch will be able to find the shot they were looking for. Coming in as reinforcements gets a touch as well. There's still one more defender in the name of Troy, Ooh, but no demo. longer with the demolition. Nice. Fire shot from Zernite ties it up. Uh, we're trying to see if Zernite can split open Ooh. this goal differential a bit more. They have made themselves go under less pressure. Here, Vaudible didn't have 17 shots registered Truly. on them, but they might in this game <laughs> oh, number no. three. Does go the perfect direction for Peloza after they give it off to the other side. They're trying to go for the center. They're trying to go for the bump, but they can't get anything. Grasping at straws, and they have buttery fingers as it goes the other direction, and FIU take the victory. Well, it's always got that conga line in terms of power and being able to know who's going in first. Nice. They go to size away for 4k and they're still actively trying to scale this space. Look at this pristine coming straight <laughs> on up to Zysa. There's one right behind him as well. Looks like Visa might fall and that's exactly what happens. But started out with yet another pristine opening pick has turned into a 1v1 that Anchor desperately needs to win time. Starting to tick and Anchor will deliver getting that after shock down and now we wait and this is cool oh! henzo damage oh they put the immortality field down another call lessons out from grebka destroys that immortality field the maywall trying to play a defensive blockade but it's just not going to be able to both lucios down cami bites the bullet early on the annihilation gets annihilated with the rest of staten island now primal online nanoblade almost as well Oh, Nanoblade comes out. Wow, poor Grebka. How many deaths on the board? Doc has gone down. It's a 4K from Chong Yun, and it's a very impressive one at that. A wonderful opening from Staten Island for some reason. Okay, I'm back. And Blade is going to be coming out from Ice Rare. He does not have a Nano behind. Hello, hello, and welcome into the ECAC. My name is Whoopshu. Of course, Jordan alongside of me is my good friend, Rocketstar, and making their debut as well. Welcome in, Rocketstar. Hi, everyone. I'm super excited for the ECAC matches we're going to get to see today. Um, we have a wonderful matchup for you. Mary Mac uh, Yellow versus this great team coming out of you from Florida Atlantic University. I'm so excited for this. Whoops, what do you what do you think about this matchup we're about to see? 
Oh, I think it's going to be a good matchup regardless. Both teams, you know, doing so well in that first week, sitting at 1 0 currently right now. Florida, I feel like, has a little bit of the edge right now because they finished, you know, their first week 4 0, making it look quite easy out here. Whereas uh, Mary Mack, in my personal opinion, had a little bit tougher of a road. I think they went down uh, one or two games and faced themselves at match point as well, but fought their way back to win that first week uh, competition. So I'm very excited to see these two teams on the pitch. Rocket Star, I know that this is going to be the elite group right now, but you have some more information about some of these players out here. What is that? Yeah, so looking at Merrimack Yellow, this is a team that actually came last season from being contenders, and now they're in the elite group. But unfortunately, their SSL, uh, one of their SSL players is not able to play today. So it's going to be an interesting matchup on this pitch today. And both teams seemingly um, have some really good records. Of course, looking at the other side of things for Florida Atlantic, they have two SSLs that are going to be out there today. So if, if you're Mary Mac Yellow, you're going to really have to play a serious ball game. Make sure you keep your rotations tight and make sure you go for demos at every opportunity. But that's always my answer. So <laughs> <laughs> demolitions are always the answer. If you can't beat them on the pitch, you have to somehow manage to erase them off of the pitch and then open up an opportunity for you on the back end. So, of course, this is going to be like we talked about beforehand, such a good matchup between these two teams. And you were saying that it might go in favor of Merrimack. I really do believe that as well. They have an opportunity here to capitalize on a very, very strong team, especially within their division and to take them down a peg and to move on to 2-0 on the season. But this is going to be a best of seven matchup. Let's go ahead and hop in to game number one. Merrimack in the blue, Florida in orange. Here we go. Right off to the kickoff we go. And it looks like it's going to go in favor. Hammy Crackers leading the way. We see Mitra up. Hammy Crackers and Mitra are the SSLs on their team. So you're going to have to pay attention to everything that they do if you're going to be out there trying to take these guys down. I mean, we've seen Hammy compete in so many tournaments. It's surprising that we haven't seen him go all the way to, say, uh, you know, top 16 in RLCS. He's got every mech in the book out there. Hey, already some foreshadowing Hammy. The pedestal is set high for you on the pitch. First <laughs> attack going to fall to the wayside, though. This one's off the backboard. Hammy going to get credited with the save. Mary Mac trying to close the distance, trying to get every little inch they possibly can to go forward, but standing in their way, of course, is Florida. Florida's out there really trying to get in their face, but they're going to have to try a little bit harder. I see the demo attempts, but they're not landing them. They are getting some nice touches, and a whiff from M. Cole just going to be really difficult. Mr. Marina was ready for his touch, but because of the miss, now everybody's rotations looking a little bit sketchy. You've got one player on the sidewall, but at least M. Cole was able to get that touch. And Hammy Crackers yet again back on the attack with his mech. And that was such a good defensive stop right there for Mary Mac as well. I believe that was Bagels on the rotation on the back end. This was off the backboard. An opportunity missed once again for Mary Mac. Counter attack now. Hammy Crackers right back towards midfield. No boost to work with. Trying to do everything he can to get in his favor. And he does off the backboard now. That's a little stand. Shot coming through from Metra. Not going to find its mark either. Still 0-0 ball game. But I was going to say Hammy Crackers in the offensive attack. He had such a good size up on that one. But got denied by the defense of Mary Mac. I mean, this is a player that's been peak of 2,200, followed by a, a player who's been peak of 1,900. Of course, they create the open look. Hammy Crackers off the sidewall, gets a pass one, gets a pass two. Mitra has an open look and lands it. Yeah, such a solid shot right there for Mitra. Drills it right down the middle, gives him the lead right now. Merrimack had a couple of opportunities fall to the wayside. So no panic just yet. You can't afford to start playing out of your game or out of your comfort zone just yet. I gotta look at when we look at how Mary Mack is playing on this pitch right now their coach actually coaches not only for their Rocket League team their Overwatch team but their Valorant League of wow. Legends and Street Fighter team so Does I wonder it all. if that changes the techniques that we see on this pitch I mean I think mentally I think you approach it the same way you're all a competitor you know but there's definitely a different strategy when it comes to each game individually but when it comes to the mentality I really feel like that's the biggest part that a coach kind of brings to the table is just trying to center his players make sure they're cool calm and collective and stick to the game plan well said I think whoops has coached once or twice in his life only a couple Sound like you got it down <laughs> <laughs> as we see the ball continue to go back and forth 
still no plan of attack for Florida Atlantic. Um, I'm sorry, for Merrimack. Merrimack continues to try, but the onslaught of attacks is making it very difficult. They're not able to get boosts. They're not even able to breathe. How can they change this around, whoops? Yeah, I mean, they have to escape their half of the field right now. On top of that, they need to desperately get it clear. Emmy Crackers, flip reset. Not going to find a smart looking for the double as well. Didn't really get the approach that he needed to on that one. But this is what Mary Mac needs right here. They needed this far clear. They need to extend this on the orange half of the field and then go back to some of those attacks that they were going with as well. This is just an awkward situation. Hammy Cracker is going to get credited with this goal and put Florida up by two. You know, the craziest thing is Hammy Crackers and Florida Atlantic University, they don't even have a coach. These are just players who've been playing a long time, been in many tournaments, and they are clicking really well on the pitch. It's working out for them. Second goal, we're almost out of time on this one, and still no answer coming out from Mary Yellow. Hey, there's still a lot of time left. A minute and 40, a minute and 35 now at this point. Handy Cracker aspires another shot. Ooh. That's definitely going to push the dagger in just a tad bit more. 3-0 to zero now in their favor, but... I want to go back to what you said beforehand or you were talking about, you know, the lack of time. This is Rocket League. We, we don't count this out until there's all zeros on the clock. Okay, Rocket Star? We, we still got a minute and 34 left, and I still believe. I definitely still believe. This is a team, I mean, Mary Mac has come from being contenders to being in the elite group. That tells you that they've been working hard and really figuring out how they need to play positionally and getting their touches accurately. Look at that pass, but there was no one there center mr marino was taken out of the play and mm -hmm. that should have been their first goal that would have been the start of their momentum but it's cut and yet again we see their net left open yeah this is a bunch of demolitions right now on the back end from mitra another shot fired away hammy crackers hat trick makes it look easy out there but that's what happens when you get into the head of the defenders you start to take your eyes off the ball and every little inch starts to matter and this is what happens with hammy crackers he comes up he's aggressive in the in the rotation there and he makes them pay 4-0 to zero now in favor of Florida. The mental game is coming out strong. I mean, who needs a coach when these players can just do things like this? The, the, the patience, the positioning, and then just the overall boost deals. And, and I just really love what we're seeing offensively. But if Mary Mack is going to change this, they have to do something now. 43 seconds, and they're down by four. And I don't see many offensive pushes happening for them. The moment they get something started, it's immediately cleared away by Florida Atlantic. So this is going to be an open net goal. Caster Good demolition curse. on the backside. Caster curse, caster blessing, whatever you want to look at it as, <laughs> regardless of the fact it's a goal in favor of Merrimack. Finally, they strike pay dirt. But like I said beforehand, it comes off the back of that demolition to open things up. And maybe that's something they need to implement into the second game, Rocketstar. Right, and it's crazy. It's their C3 who scores first. We got Bagels out there. Bagels is GC3. I thought we would have seen him put something on the board first. And then we have their sub, Amcol. So I'm wondering what we're going to see from Amcol. This is a player who doesn't get to play often. He's playing in place of their SSL. So I'm expecting to see more shots spot. And there it is, another attempt. But geez, it was so close. Whoops. I don't know what they can do to change things with six seconds left. Yeah, this one's pretty much all said and done. So there's all zeros at the clock, and this ball hits the ground. Game one's going to go in favor of Florida, regardless of Mary Max scores on this offensive possession, which they won't. So we're going to see Florida taking game number one in a 4-1 to one victory, and a hat trick walking away for the Owls is Hammy Crackers. I mean, that total 12 shots on the net. Just insane. Four only coming from... Mary Mac yellow and Mary Mac have to find a way to turn that around. Even if they get 17 shots and only score one, that's better than uh, anything else because the more pressure you apply, the more likely you are to convert those into goals as well as you continue to boost starve your opponent. And that's how you start to take on players who are higher ranked. Yeah, I, I agree with you hundred percent. You need to have more offensive stints. Um, I think think back to a couple of opportunities that uh, you know Mary Mac did have on the offense event. Basically, they just didn't capitalize on those opportunities. You know, they could have even took the lead with that first shot that they took onto the net. But you know, they could have changed the whole tide, the momentum. 
so on and so forth. We can only speculate at this point. Now we have to go in the game too, looking forward, seeing what Mary Mack can kind of do. And I, I think the main thing is you can't give free looks to somebody like Hammy Crackers, where he had at least two free looks, a couple of double opp double tap opportunities that he missed. So, I mean, you have to take away a lot of those opportunities on the offensive end, whether that be get the ball away from your side or just start demoing these people on the offensive end. I mean, I always like the idea of demos any day, but yes, <laughs> go for demos on their SSLs or just get in the face of anybody with the ball immediately. It's all about pressure and challenges. If you give space to Michael Jordan, what do you think he's going to do with that basketball? Exactly. It's going to go right into your hoop. Exactly. You can't give space to people who are comfortable with that space and know what to do with that space as well. I do I do believe with that one as well. But let's hop into game number two. See if Mary Mac can make the final adjustments or is Florida going to run away and uh, win their second game? Well, this is the best of seven, so this is really all about endurance. Not just about the hot streak that happened in the first game. They're going to have to continue to work by going against Mary Mac Yellow. And the question is, are we going to see the blueprint change of how this team takes on Florida Atlantic? And Lil Stan just waiting at mid, waiting to get the center, looking for his teammates to support his play. But Bagels just goes up with no boost in a dream. And Paul on the attack, looking for his teammates, looking for somebody to pass that ball to center. Everyone a little bit too far back there. By the time Bagels goes up for the touch, it ends up going towards their net. But I like that save. Did you see that? That was crazy. By yeah, those Marino. ones. Those ones are difficult to do, to pull off and transition like that, especially made it look so easy and so comfortable. Mr. Marino definitely uh, needs to get more credit for, for that save, but regardless of the fact, another demolition coming out. Little Stan going to pull off that demo, open up the net completely for Mitra to score first here for Florida. Speaking of Michael Jordan and his team, looking like Air Jordan out there, Mitra putting the first one on. It only took 50 seconds to happen, but... I, I'm telling you, suggestion-wise, I, I think they're starting to adhere to some of the things we've brought up, but these demos aren't oh. helping their case any. But they are continuing to give no breathing room to Florida Atlantic, just some whiffs and some mechanical situations occurring that are making it very hard for them to get around Florida Atlantic. One flip, two flip, and three flip. I believe Hammy Crackers had a triple flip reset there trying to push that one in. And had he done so, definitely been one of the best goals we've probably seen all year. But Mitra, this is the person who I want to talk about who's bringing the ball up right now for Florida. He's just been an absolute nuisance on the offensive end here for Mitra, I mean, for Florida. On to Mary Mac because he's just been demoing. He's been chasing. And like I said beforehand, once you start getting into the heads of these defenders, they start to put their cars on a swivel and they start to open up some opportunities. Another shot being fired away right here from Mitra. Counterattack oh. wide open. Bagels going to tie this one up. What a huge shot right here to put this one on. Look at that attempt at a double. Mitra just throws it to the, the wall and it ends up being a pass. You got to hit yourself over the head on that one. But Bagel's got to be happy that he recognized that. He saw what was going on, put it on target, and just called that one a goal. You got to take the dubs where you can. The demos happening on to Ampol and Mr. Marino trying to get the shot. Everything continues to not line up for them at times, but... I wonder if they're going to be able to maybe center this and have a teammate ready for this pass in coming. About three minutes left in this ball game. Mitra, once again, open net, demolition, little stand. It's almost like they just know it's working. They keep on going to it, and they're just going to keep on doing it until Mary Mech stop them. Another goal is conceded and in favor of Florida. And why not? If it's working, Rockstar, why change things? Am I right? I mean, they are doing great things. There are still some times that we see both teams double commit. But I mean, Florida Atlantic University, this is a team that made day two of every CCA Open since last semester. Even though they didn't win some of the series, they still did a great job. And they did get top three at a land once. So uh, as well as CRL Qualls like two years ago. So they do have a lot, a lot of experience in the bucket for themselves. But I still think Mary Mac can at least take the game away from them. Another demolition, a little stand, open net. Not going to find its way in. Bagel's going to keep that one at bay. Still no boost to work and gets that 50 50 to go in favor. Only down by one. Nothing really to kind of worry about just yet. Hammy Crackers up in the air early for this one. Bagel's off the backboard, missed touch. Mitra has the ball, flip towards center. 
No one's going to find it. You go right back towards the middle line and Hammy Crackers, that's the person you don't want to concede the ball up to. And he, he, he's done some wonderful things with it. Another demo should come out. Little Stan, Mitra in the corner. Bagels now as a breakaway. Can he get the flick onto it? Hammy Crackers not falling for it. Little Stan becoming an exterminator out there, getting so many demos and making it really easy for Florida Atlantic to continue to throw shots on target. And Bagels tries to save that, but it's just ongoing and they have to find a way to turn around the pressure. Lil Stan is not making it easy for them. Not only is he boost driving them, but he's getting in their face and he's clearing them off of the off of the net. Yeah, he's just he's just running laps out there, basically going from corner to corner oh until he actually connects with somebody like right there with Mr. Marino. This one, almost 60 seconds left and another demolition from Lil Stan. Tries to shoot a shot on target. He is denied, though. This we pop back towards midfield. Emmy Crackers has the ball. A little stand, another demo. Bagels. So say he has to go for at least a challenge. He does that, but he pays with his life. And is it even worth it? I mean, they just keep throwing the ball away. By the time they get on the attack, Lil, Lil Stan or Mitra has literally deleted them off of this pitch. They don't even get a chance to breathe. I can feel radiation on this pitch right now because of how many demos have on slotted onto these opponents yeah it's just very frustrating at this point in time if you're you know mary mac facing demolitions the boost is just not there for you as well because you know someone keeps on stealing it just doing hot laps at this point in time but regardless of the fact 15 seconds left here in game number two breakaway chance right here for bagels he's gonna put there this one go. in ties the ball game up trying to force this overtime but we still have 10 seconds left rocket star and it is a marathon, not a sprint. Bagels, yet again, putting it on for his teammates and really showing that, okay, yeah, you can go for demos on us all day, every day, but if you just wait for the mistakes to happen, you can capitalize. But I would like to see them change their narrative a little bit here in this series and just find a way to get their mechanics to work out a little bit better for them. This ball's still up in the air, I was gonna say. Threatening with a shot was going to be Florida, but it's the ground. We see ourselves in overtime here in game number two. And the way that this series goes, I can foresee this one going the distance, but obviously Florida trying to change the tides of that prediction. They started off week one hot, four to zero. Start for them in this season. Merrimack, they're troopers. They're battlers. They don't care about these demolitions. They're going to still keep on firing shot after shot and try to make some offensive presence of their own. I mean, this is a team too. I mean, yes, they are having a little bit of a time struggling here against Florida Atlantic, but we have to remember that Mary Mac Yellow, they did win first place in the Rocket League. That's not the good. G That's not and good. That looked like it was going to be maybe a last minute save by Mr. Marino, but Hammy Crackers puts it on and they take game two. Yeah, that was Amp Cole back, who was the last person back there for Mary Mac. And going up against Hammy Crackers, where we saw a triple flip reset for him. Um, pretty much just had the ball free reign, uncontested. And then on top of that, just getting by the last defender. So good job right there for Florida. Moving on to 2-0 and right now in the series. Hammy Crackers, the top of the leaderboard once again with a shot and a handful of saves as well, four to be exact. Yeah, and just a lot happening on that pitch. But... I mean, anytime you have somebody specifically going out for demos endlessly tells you what, not only do you not have any pressure because the team's taking it away from you, but you have no boost. So you're relying on small pads and three people trying to capitalize on small pads with ongoing yeah. pressure and players continuing to disappear is not going to work. You guys could not let them do this again in this next game if you want to turn this around at all. Well, I see a little bit of a, I was going to say, maybe a switch here for Mary Mac, but Mr. Marino has definitely joined back in the lobby. Definitely has to do a little bit better in this match of 96 points. That's why I thought they called for a sub. Little Stan, we're not going to talk about his points. He, he was doing some things out there. He was going for demolitions. He was making his presence known on the defensive end, or I'm sorry, on the offensive end there. And the defense of Mary Mac was just pretty much erased as he was doing hot laps, taking the boost after boost after boost, like you were talking about, Rocket Star. So, I mean, at this point in time, they have a plan. They have a solution. I mean, Mayor Mac needs a solution now. And that solution is don't get demoed. Don't get in that situation. Don't get demoed and make sure you bring in Overcast, who's their GC2 and their captain. 
Um, it looks like they're still maybe making some movements around here on the pitch on who's actually going to play in this next game. But while the players figure it out, just think about it like this. Both of these teams have an equal opportunity, I feel like, in winning this next one. If, if Mary Mac Yellow decides to turn that pressure around. Well, it looks like I was correct. Bagels is going to take a seat. Overcast is going to come in and uh, take the reins here. Try to combat Hammy Crackers. He does a good job in the opening segment here. But regardless of the fact, I do like to switch up. You know, if something's not working out for you, you do have to go and approach it differently. And that's what Mary Mac is trying to do here in game three. It's a smart move. I mean, but their, their sub, I mean, has not played with them before. I mean, you've got to, first of all, you're trying to learn how to play with your sub while trying to take on Hammy Crackers and Mitra, who can't stop hitting your net. And Lil Stan's going for demos and bumps. And this is just a hard equation to solve. Yeah, and what do you do in that situation? I mean, Mr. Marino did, did such a good job coming up and taking the opportunity away from Hammy Crackers, but unfortunately, he just sails off the backboard and Mitro's there to, you know, receive it. So it turns into a passing play and a defensive, um, you know, blunder, I guess you could kind of say, and the first goal in favor of Florida as well. So unfortunate, but at the same time, it's only one goal. Can't panic. Not even been out the clock just yet. You're threatening with your own offense right now. Hammy Crackers hustles back on the rotation. It's 100 boost as well. You have to put a hand up in his face. You cannot allow him just to start teeing off and setting some stuff up on the offensive end. Can't give these guys any room to breathe. I mean, look at how many bodies have continued to hit the floor and with the <laughs> bumps and the demos. And the funniest thing about all of this is, I mean, these are, these are players who've seen so many competitions and they're making real light work of this one. I, I thought we would see a lot more passing plays, but it's really a lot more solo plays slash exactly. mechanical goal attempts. What's going down? Yeah, ex exactly. You hit the nail on the head. It's pretty much just been hammy crackers is let loose in this situation. And Mitra is there to clean up. And Lil Stan is there to essentially cause a disturbance in the force. And, you know, all puns <laughs> intended with that one. But... I mean, regardless of the fact, you know the game plan. Now Merrimack has to come out, and they have to answer to it, and they have to take away, you know, like I said, those opportunities. And so far, they're staying with, and they're competing with Florida, but they're just not doing enough on the offensive end to get this ball over towards the orange half. I mean, if I was Merrimack, the, the roster I would have picked would have been to keep Bagels in, but it's Overcast leading the way on the first goal. They finally get, they turn around all of that pressure that was, cooking them like rice and finally found a way to solve it maybe this is the start of a comeback i mean from what it looks like bagels was definitely a solid player and they all played together very well i mean that first game think back to what happened all the stats were evenly aligned and then it was a more demo heavy strategy in game number two so of course all the stats got kind of you know messed up i guess you could kind of say Overcast to me looks like what Hammy Crackers is on the Florida side of the pitch. He is a more of a solo player. He could take the ball and run away with it at any given time. On top of that, he's going to be the more aggressive play style type person to kind of take those opportunities away, not only offensively, but present them on, on, the, on the defense as well. Right. I mean, being the captain of his squad, I would assume that he would want as much game time as possible. But, you know, maybe he's trying to let his players shine, give them a little bit more opportunities. That whiff, though, not what you want to see from him. But it's not like Florida Atlantic wasn't ready for that shot attempt. Hammy Crackers going up high in the sky, gets the flip reset. It looks like a must be there from the sky. Lil Sand going for a double. This is their GC1. Looks like he had a triple tap. What just happened? A uh, defensive mistake once again. Lil Stan had it. He shoots it off the backboard, and on top of that, Amcol helps him progress this one in the right direction. And he gets the final touch to solidify that goal right there for Florida. So, right back, up by one, is Florida. But still, like I said before, I like the response right now from Mary Mack. They're looking a lot more competitive on the offensive end. They're definitely looking a lot cleaner, a lot crisper. Maybe they should have started out with this roster to begin with. The passing plays. Where's their third to complete oh. the play, Mr. Marino? A little too far back on that one. I think Amcol actually hit this one backwards as well to save his own teammate shot in that situation. Mr. Marino going off the ceiling now. Nice pass over to Overcast. Overcast gets bumped off by Hammy Crackers. Right back into the corner. A little bit of a slow play as well. And why not? You're up by one. Hammy Crackers try to get the, div the give and go over to Mitra. Not going to find his mark, but a little stand, a respectable shot. Trying to find his second. 
So not only that, but Lil Stan doing it offensively as well, getting in the mix. He talks about how much of a presence he has been as far as uh, a, a disturbance, but uh, he's definitely showcasing it, uh, his offensive skill sets for Florida. Florida's trying to figure out what they need to do here. Overcast looking like he was going to get a double. The angle almost worked out for him regardless. Cammy Cracker last second saves that one for his team. 45 seconds. I was going to say this one's dangerous. Mitra right in front of the box. Mr. Marino just kind of softly touches that one. And then the woodwork getting involved as well. Setting up a great pass here to Mitra. Florida going up by two now in this situation. Yeah, those are kind of just tough to save. Whenever they look at their defensive placement, they have to make sure rotation is looking sharp. They continue to have somebody on the side while they should have somebody on the backboard. Your backboard player would have gone for the challenge here and would have gotten it. Instead, he was wow. on the sidewall and it barely touches his car and his miss throws off his teammate and it ends up being a fourth goal for Florida Atlanta. Yeah, I want to say that was a double flip reset. That last flip is what pushed it over Mr. Marino. They got that goal right there is Florida. So up by three now, how quickly the tides have turned in favor of Florida, looking at uh, to try to move on to match point here in this situation, which is completely possible with only about 20 seconds left, Rockstar. I don't know. Florida Atlantic just going in for the kill consistently. They're not even slowing down. They're just continuing to go for clippers and trying to <laughs> outdo each other. Every attempt greater than the last one. That whiff by Mitra maybe starts something for this squad of Mary Mac, but no, it's Hammy Crackers back on the attack, and so is Mitra. The center incoming, but the ball drops, and that's going to be another win for Florida Atlantic. Unfortunate opportunities. Time and time again, Florida just dominating since game number one, and game two was so close. You know, we forced that overtime matchup between the two, and Mary Mac looked like they stood a chance in this matchup as well, bringing in Overcast off the bench, but He's going to have the only goal here for Mary Mac. So we're going to see if Mary Mac is going to stay with this roster. I think they looked good. I think they need to stay with it and uh, maybe give some more opportunities to overcast. And on top of that, just play a little bit, just a little bit better than what they did in this matchup. But I'm telling you right now, it's just been the defense from Florida that has been standing out to me. Five saves in this matchup as well. And they're going to be moving on to match points to see if they can, you know, get two back-to-back 4-0 -back sweeps. I think things would be even better for Mary Mac if they switch around all that defensive, amazing save situation and turn it into offensive goal situations. Because if you just focus on offense, it might do a lot better for them instead of just letting all the pressure hit your net, turn that pressure onto their net. And how do you do that? You go for demos, you go for bumps, any kind of physicality, boost dealing, make it hard for them to go supersonic because they have all this boost in the air and they really shouldn't. Yeah. And it I mean, it really comes down to space. Yeah. It comes down to space on top of that, getting that person off of your side of the field as well. I mean, little Stan was that person who was just being, like I said, the disruptor. And now he's, you know, making his presence known on the offensive end. He walked away with two goals in that last game. So he can pretty much do it all in this situation. And you can't allow these guys, Florida to just, you know, completely just get any sort of, you know, gather and momentum with the ball. Agreed. I, I wonder if Lil Stan is a part of that demo group uh, that Woody started because he seems to really enjoy being an exterminator. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so far, he's just been all over the place. He's still up in the mix as well. Overcast, no boost really. Still puts a respectable shot on, and that's what you have to do. You have to just back them up to their half, force a mistake. Mitra oh. going for back wall, Hammy Crackers leaves that one open, and Merrimack get the lead. So you're saying there's a chance. Yeah, and Paul gets the angle. It didn't even look in. If you were looking at from any other player's angle, it just did not look in. And somehow it ends up rolling in. Man's got his protractor out and made it happen. But you got to give it to Mary Mac. This is, a, a, this is an esports program that has only been together about two years. So their players and their esports teams are still figuring it out. And... While they were all trying to figure out what was going on there in the corner, mm. Hammy Crackers gets the angle. 
Yeah, Little Stan gets a demolition, I believe, onto, I think that was Bagels. I'm not too sure who, no, Overcast, actually. So that left the uh, rotation, left the shot wide open right there for Hammy Cr Crackers just to drill that one in. So short-lived lead right there for Mary Mac, but at the same time, it's once again, results from a demolition. Mitra goes for a demo as well. Trying to secure this ball here to pass it off to Hammy Crackers. Right back towards midfield we go. I want to see Amco go for a demo onto Hammy Crackers. He's been the front runner for the whole entire team. Not needed, though. What a pass right here from Overcast and Bagels to drill this one home. Look at Mitra going off to the corner. He said he's going to do some mechanical air dribble, but instead it ends up turning into a challenge that is just innovative and centers it perfectly. And now we see another lead come again for Mary Mac Yellow. The question is, how long can they hold on to this? They still got a lot of time on the clock if they want to try to take down Florida Atlantic. The question is, can they do it? Little Stan's demos are not helping them. And this is going to be another one for Hammy Crackers and Florida Atlantic. Just time and time again, Hammy Crackers just finds a way to get this ball centered and then finds a way to put a shot on target. Usually it's saved away by the defense, but Little Stan, like you said, that opened up the whole entire net once again. And I think lack of boost in that situation on the goal line it really didn't help Mary Mac, but you cannot allow Hammy Crackers to do things like this. He has 100 boosts in the tank, and he has a lot of room to work with, so that's why I think they brought Overcast in to kind of combat him on some of those challenges. They really do need a lot more pressure happening. Right now, it looks like mechanically, though, as you said, Overcast is the only one bringing it to them. Fagel's free jump just a little bit too slow there, but Ampol able to get it past, ends up being a pass to Hammy Crackers. Maybe a crazy double waterfall, but instead it ends up being left for Mitra. The ball continues to soar in the sky, and no one is ready for this until Ampol gets there, and he's looking to 50 with Mitra, but it's going to drop down. Hammercrackers is in the air. This is dangerous, and it is actually saved away by Lil Stan. Yeah, Hammy Crackers is just pretty much just playing at such a different fast pace than everybody out here on the pitch right now. Look at the methodical faking right now that's going on. He's trying not to be as predictable as he approaches some of these attacks. He has this one, flip reset, second one as well, pushes this one forward. Amco does such a fantastic job to take the opportunity away. Here comes Overcast now. Doesn't really have much boost to work with. Amco with the overtake. Hammy Crackers just pops it away. And I want to see Mer... I want to see them just be so much more aggressive on the off on the on the offensive end. When you have an offensive push like that, you cannot afford to just leave somebody just wide open. Oh Two back-to-back -back misses going to result in the lead now for Florida. Hammy Crackers gets that flip reset and doesn't even use it. He fakes everybody out there. I don't know where Hammy Crackers lives, but I tell you what, this guy's been getting his fitness on. He's been going to the Rocket League gym, been lifting everything out there, and you can tell his biceps are strong. Amco looking to put his name out there too, but can't get the touch. Overcast miss, and now it's Hammy Crackers versus Bagels. And I don't know where that ball was going, but he just threw it into the corner instead of throwing it on. Uh, the game has a little, a little bit, uh, a little bit of confusion for me. I just want to hop on and give some more confusion to you. Look at the scoreboard for a quick zero points all across the board right now for Little Stan. I hopped on board with him, and all he is doing is just hot lapping, stealing boosts, going for demos. That's all he is doing right now is just being an absolute disruptor. I'm not sure if you guys can see that from the pers per perspective of like the producer, but man, oh man, zero score for Little Stan. Who needs scores when you're? disrupting any chance at offense i mean it's I, I mean it's really underrated and a lot of people do become very angry from all the demos that can happen from their teammates but it is a part of the game and it really really is under underrated uh if you can land all your demos i mean look at how easy it's been look at that almost another shot attempt and lil stan just continues to be an exterminator in the mix i was gonna say i think he was trying to go for a win with no score at that point in time but he did go for a shot attempt there so it puts him at 20 but regardless of the fact we do have ourselves a game out here on the pitch fight to stay alive right now is mary mac down by one only about 40 seconds to go florida trying to get this one done four to zero no. mitra with the approach the secondary oh. touch that was so clean mitra attacks another one on for florida i felt the comeback for them but mitra goes up 
and somehow still gets the read off of the wall, lands his fourth, uh, lands his team's fourth goal. Two goals separate this team, 36 seconds. Can we see two kickoff goals happen quick for Mary Mac Yellow? They win the 50, can Ann Color Overcast get the touch? There it is, a third goal for them. A third goal and a chance as well. And a mistake from Hammy Crackers. Getting a little bit too comfortable out here. Overcast with a great shot. 28 seconds and a dream. It comes down to pretty much the setup right here off this kickoff. Amcol versus Hammy Crackers. Bagels has to go up in the air. A little stand once again just hunting for that secondary bump. And that opened up the door for Mitra. Watch this back. Little stand just V-lines right over to Overcast and forces him in an awkward situation. Poor Overcast. He was just trying to dodge the demo. He was ready, had the read. And that demo attempt really threw him off target because he had to dodge it. Yep. Chance right here. Oh, no. It falls to the wayside. I was going to say, if they scored there, they would have had a better look to maybe tie this one up. Overcast with a flip reset of his own. Maybe trying to go for a secondary touch. He does get the flip. Mitra denies him, though. Abkul, not going to find his mark. Quick takeaway right here from Hammy Crackers, and that one kills it. Florida win this matchup 4-0 to zero in an absolutely ridiculous performance. 20 points for Little Stan if you guys are keeping track at home. Uh, this is another 4-0 win for this Florida Atlantic team, so maybe no coach is a good thing. It's been working for them, so why change things up if it works for you? They 4 0 the team they faced last week on the 31st against uh, NEU, um, Northeastern University. And now they can add to their murder list, to their checklist, to their hit list. They can add Mary Mack uh, College as well. So the curiosity of all of this is who are they going to take on next? I mean, it doesn't really matter at this point in time. They've pretty much been making mincemeat of whoever they've been facing 4 0 two weeks in a row is absolutely ridiculous. And I already know the first question I'm going to ask these guys if we do get them a chance to interview them. Um, basically, 20 points for a little stand. What's up with that? No coach, no problem. Exactly uh, is, is the question right here for me. But we're going to see who we're going to interview. I believe um, we're going to have somebody from Florida in the booth with us. So stick with us through this break.
Hello, hello, and welcome back. Thank you very much for sticking with us through that break. And unfortunately, we're not going to have ourselves an interview today. I was really hoping to uh, pick the brain of Florida and the high caliber offense. But nonetheless, if you guys are just joining us, you guys missed a heck of a matchup. It was Florida taking on Merrimack, and Florida ended up winning that matchup 4-0. to zero. But Rocketstar, I want your final thoughts here on that matchup. Well, I mean, Merrimack Yellow has a coach. I would tell them, take these replays, go get some reviews. Yes, they were without their SSL player. So it would have made a huge difference chemistry-wise and just on the pitch, how their positioning would have been because their SSL would have led the way in offensive pressure and also by just keeping the ball away from their own net. And I just think they got caught up on playing defense so, yep. so much, especially with Lil Stan's demos left and right that it just made it impossible for them to do anything. And, uh, you, you know, when it comes to Florida Atlantic University, they did everything right on the pitch. I mean, they, <laughs> they made it look like a freestyle event. I mean, somebody give these people a Ford. I mean, basically, that, that pretty much accurately sums up the whole entire series. I mean, minus the fact that, you know, you had Hammy Crackers who had free reign to pretty much do whatever he wanted to on the pitch. And, you know, like we talked about beforehand in the, in the in the green room, it looks like, like you said, a freestyle event or like he was in free play with just some extra players out there on the pitch. And those extra players were his teammates, little stand, of course, leading the way with a lot of those offensive opportunities. But regardless of the fact, a heck of a start here for the season, moving to 2-0 is going to be Florida Atlantic University. And then Mary Mack going be falling to 1-1. But the bigger story here is two back-to-back 4-0 sweeps in favor of Florida. So... Rocket Star, thank you very much. I know it was a short-lived segment here for your first debut on ECAC uh, on the Esports University channel. Thank you very much for joining us. What well, you know, you know, thank you. That's all I can really say about that. Well, thank you everyone for having me here. A uh, huge shout out to Esports U and ECAC, and to Whoops U and to Professor Lawton and Colton. Thank you everyone. And if you want to stay around, we are going to be bringing on our. Valorant squad, and that should be interesting. Whoops, have you ever played Valorant? Uh, not Valorant, but oh, Overwatch. Overwatch. I have Sorry, played Valorant. Overwatch. I have played Overwatch. I love them both. But I just don't cast either one of them. But yeah, up next is going to be 8 o'clock Eastern time. going to be ECAC Overwatch. If you guys want to check that out, it's going to be Ohio Northern University versus Kane University. That's going to, of course, going to be Tiny, Shiny, and Jag bringing you guys that action. So until next time, we'll see you around.